Hello, my name is Kate, and this is Castle Tulage, your home defense network. Um, I've been getting several emails lately. I don't know why, but um, uh, someone wants to know what of the handguns I have, and these are it. These are all the six of the handguns I have because I'm not a big believer in collecting guns, and there, there's two caveats to that. I'm not a big believer in collecting guns, and well, believer. Um, I, I guess that's the wrong word. I am not interested in collecting guns of uh, rare guns, that kind of thing. Um, so these guns actually have a purpose and a use for for you know what I need them uh, to do. Okay. Um, since I do live in the state of California, um, there are limits on the guns that I would like to get, and specifically, I would like. And since I am moving. Um, what I am going to be adding is a CZ97 uh, B, BDB variant kind of a, a scenario, which is a 45 ACP. Uh, the other one that I would like to uh, try uh, get my hands on is the Beretta Storm uh, subcompact chambered in 40 and the Beretta Nano. Uh, those are the two guns when I do move out of state. Those are the two first guns that I will be jumping on. The, the next one that I'd like to do is get uh, the 40 Smith & Wesson version of this um, for concealed carry, that kind of thing, and that is a CZ P, um, P06. And the, the one of the, the up-and-comers, and I'm not a big, you know, I'm going to be making that transition, and part of the, what I'm going to be talking about is um, uh, your guns in your arsenal. They need to be pretty much similar in nature if you're going to be using them for uh, personal defense, home defense uh, uh, type of scenario where it's not going to be an overwhelming uh, kind of a thing where one gun is going to be a completely different platform than the other. And when I do buy the Beretta Nano, that is going to be a striker fire, um, a double action striker fire kind of a scenario. So that is going to be changing. I am slowly... You know, I, well, we'll get to there um, in a minute. However, um, well, let me complete the thought. The other guns that I, I would like to take a look at is the carousel. Um, I think it is a very interesting um, um, modern, modern, modern version of uh, the Smith & Wesson MP and Glock series, uh, even out of the Gen 4. And when they come out with a subcompact, which it should be out in uh, um, the winter of 2012, that is something that I will be picking up. Okay, the topic of this is that your gun arsenal should be very similar, so your training is not going to be a pain in the ass. Um, if you look at my six guns here, it, you know, you, you can do a, a Sesame Street. One of these things don't belong here. One of these things are not the same. <laughs> okay? Um, wh what are these? Um, this one right here, right? This is different than all these platforms right here. This has a very specific role. It has a very low profile for uh, concealed carry, and I really like it. Um, um, it is a double action. Um, it, well, let me tell you what this is. This is a Ruger LCR 357, and I don't shoot 357 round out of this very, very light gun. It's like 16 to 18 ounces. It's, it's extraordinarily light. And when you're having a 357 round in there, it's just not pleasant to shoot. And uh, your first shot isn't the most important thing. It is the second shot. Follow-up shots are very important. So what I run is the Underwood, uh, uh, Underwood um, uh, Plus P uh, pressure ammunition, and it does a very good job of it. It is a hollow point. Um, so that is going to be different. Now, I always shoot um, CZs and Brettas. I keep things nice and simple. The Brettas I've been uh, doing for uh, 20 plus years uh, out of the military, and I've recently just fell in love with the CZ and how it really operates, and uh, it just does a, a, a superb job. Um, this one right here is a Bretta 96G, uh, chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson. The G variant on it means that it is a decocker. You're going to see a uh, you know some like uh, this older style Cougar. This is in uh, uh, Bretta Cougar 8045. Uh, F variant, where you'll be able to see it has a safety right here. Let me pick it up. That's a safety and a decocker. Okay. Now, 
when it has the F variant, that's going to tell you that that's what it is. When it's a G variant, it doesn't have a, a safety on it. It's just a decocker where you're in true double, uh, double action mode. I will generally run, except for this, everything in a double action half cock scenario where it's going to be nice and easy. The, the, the trigger pull on all these are basically the same. Um, if you put it in my hand, um, trigger only, um, I couldn't tell you which one these are. I, I would be able to tell you that um, the Ruger is what it is. Um, Bretta also has a D variant, which is a double action, and um, I think they have a C variant, and it's, it's boggling my mind right now uh, what that is. Um, they do have L variants. Basically what it is is just a a lower grip size so you're gonna the older style Cougars are gonna have an L variant and basically it's just knocking off a few rounds out it basically cuts it right here and turns it into a um, something a little, a little bit looking like uh, this CZ 2075 now let's move on to this side um, these are my CZ uh, um, handguns that I deal with this is a CZ 2075 chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson a CZ 7 this one right here is a CZ 75 uh, P01 BD variant, and this is a, a blowback design, a CZ83, um, and it's chambered in Makarov 19x18. Uh, um, I do shoot 19x17 in it, but it needs to be at least 102 grains uh, for it to operate right. And I will also shoot a 9x19 uh, through this gun, but it needs to be on uh, the shorter side, uh, about 115 grain, um, and that's pretty much it. Now, all these... Um, this is a BD variant, and this is just a B variant, and if you want to call it, this is a B variant also. These two run more like a 1911 style, where it can be cocked and locked. Uh, the difference is that these both will pull in double action. So what I'll do is I'll bring these down to a half cock, like, um, um, like this one. It doesn't have a BD variant on it. It has um, a safety, so when the hammer is back, you can engage the safety and run it in cocked and locked 1911 style. I don't do that. I keep everything the same. I bring the hammer down to a half cock scenario. I put it into my holster and it's good to go. The CZ75 has the decocker. And this model um, also comes in the B model, a uh, B variant also, where it's going to be similar to the CZ70, this uh, variant. But uh, this is a uh, brand new model and it came out in California recently and it decocks to a half cock scenario and that's how I run. The CZ83 is the same thing as, as this one up here. You can be cocked and locked. Uh, it's not very easy. This is the safety right here so it can be cocked and locked. Or you can bring it down to a half cock scenario uh, like you see here and you can run it in double action. So, um, so when you're starting off um, and, and that's one thing I will say about the, the Ruger LCR 357. It starts off in double action. It will stay in double action. And that's where um, I've short struck this a couple of times when I'm training on it. So I need to train on it a little bit more when this is a double action compared to when the first shot goes off, all these are, are single action. So when you are going into your role of what your guns are, you're going to be starting off with one, one gun. You're going to go to uh, different platforms. Um, in the early stages, I would just stay with one platform. If you want um, transition into a different platform, um, like a Glock uh, striker fire or a, uh, a hammer fire, double single action, that kind of a scenario, um, and, and then transition to whatever you want and what you feel is more comfortable. Um, Hickok uh, 45, um, the guy is just phenomenal with double action. I am not phenomenal with double action. I am not even phenomenal with single action. Um, so it's really a personal decision on where you guys go with, okay? I'm just going to be wrapping it up. When, if you are, if you have a purpose for your guns, keep them similar. Keep the platform fairly much similar. So you, your cross training is not going to be a pain in the ass with different platforms and you're having to learn them all. That is the sole purpose of this. So when I do get my um, Storm subcompact, when I do get my uh, carousel subcompact, that's going to be a little bit different for me, but um, I want to try the carousel. I think it is a very good option. My name is Caden. This is Castle Tulage, your home defense network.
I hope this helped.